I'm Poppy Drayton and I'm playing Juliet Capulet. Okay, is this your first taste of Shakespeare? Uh, I've done some Shakespeare before, but at drama school, so it's a bit different coming and doing it professionally. Um, but yeah, yeah, so my first professional job. My name is Leah Bratton and I'm playing Lady Capulet, Juliet's mother. Okay, and have you uh, performed Shakespeare before in your illustrious career? Um, not for a really long, long, long time, so probably not since I was about Poppy's age. <laughs> I'm Dan de Cruz and I play Tybalt in the show. And tell us a bit more about the character of Tybalt. Um, oh, well, he's basically a very angry young man. Um, he's kind of the second in command, or feels he's the second in command of the Capulets. And he's Romeo, uh, Juliet's cousin. And he causes all the problems in the show, really. So he's very anti Romeo getting with Juliet. He certainly is, yeah. So much so that he decides to issue a challenge to uh, a fight to the death about it. So, yeah. Okay, so you have to do an actual fight scene. Yeah, lots of fighting. Great fun. <laughs> um, there's about three fight scenes in the show, four fight scenes in the show, and I'm in three of them. Lots of knives and uh, flashing blades. It's brilliant. And how, how difficult was that to, to choreograph? We spent, we've had two days so far, to, entire days to work on it. And it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty fun. It looks, it looks vicious and uh, it is vicious. Is there any chance of an injury? Uh, we hope not, <laughs> uh, but maybe. If that's, what, if that's what the audience want, a bit of blood, yeah, come along, you might get some. Hi, my name is Nicola Blackman and I play the nurse. How long was it from initial audition to actually starting on the stage? Um, I auditioned in April and I was because I, I, I have a base in France and a base in New York so um, I came over from France in 21st of April when I auditioned and uh, the, the following week I heard I got the job and I think it started in June, June the 7th I think it started a little bit earlier so a couple of months. Have you done much theatre recently because you people might uh, know you best from Emmerdale yes. as uh, Zoe Tate? Yes. Um, and I think it was was it 2005 that you left there? Very good, it was, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, so what have you been doing since then? Um, I deliberately went back after doing um, Emmerdale for so long, I went straight back to the theatre. Um, and I did a couple of plays back to back, two long tours, and since then I've done a, a mixture of both. And is this your first taste of outdoor theatre? Yeah, it is, yeah. I've never done anything kind of, yeah, <laughs> without walls around you, so... Yeah, it's really exciting and really nice, and it's yeah, it's it because Shakespeare's so expansive on its own. It's nice to kind of have no rules and just let go. And do, is the direction different, where you you're not facing a central audience, but there's an audience all around you? Does that take any any different skills as an actor? Yeah, I mean you have to kind of constantly have to be aware of, of like what percentage of the audience can see you, what you're kind of giving to each side. Um, and also, you like have to kind of act with your back in a way. You have to kind of like make sure that the audience behind you can still kind of read what you're doing just through through your back. So it is it is a challenge, but. So what, what was it that drew you to this production in Stafford? Well, I really want. I said to myself at the beginning of the year, I would really like to do a Shakespeare play because I have not done them for many, many years, um, and. This opportunity really came up, and Romeo and Juliet is one of my favourites, as it is probably for many, many people. I've heard such good things about um, the Stafford Festival Shakespeare. I know uh, friends of mine have worked here, and I haven't been disappointed so far. So. so, how excited are you about the opening night? I'm loving it. I'm really looking forward to it, really. And also the gala night as well, because I didn't, didn't really know about that until last week that there's also the mayor's coming. But uh, yeah, I'm just hoping the weather's going to be good because if it's like this today, which is fabulous, it really is lovely. But it's going to be a bit, bit, if it rains. <laughs> if everybody else is fine, all the audience are fine because they're dry, but we're the ones get wet. How much are you looking forward to the opening night? 50 50. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. I mean, it's, it's going to be an amazing show. I think it's going to be a stunning show. I think it's going to be really, really something special. I think, I think. Uh, Peter Grove, the directors, passed themselves. Yes, yeah, so it's a pleasure to be part of.